Well, I'm joined at this hour by former India cricketer Vijay Dehia, former strength and conditioning coach of the Indian cricket team Ramji Srinivasan and former cricketer Ritender Singh Sodhi. Vijay is uh, in the studio with me. Uh, Vijay, you know, Rohit Sharma practically was saying the, a family that treks together mm -hmm. stays together. Has that been the feature of the Indian cricket team well, this time around? And then you have to uh, read between the lines as well, Rika. He said... Uh, despite of results hmm. that's very very important i mean like you with good results everybody can be a happy family there's there's uh, there's no rocket science in that but the point is that you know in and it goes for everyone he's very categorically said not only for the players for the support staff as well and it's a big unit at the moment and it's a challenge to have so many people on the same page and i think uh, they have done that really really wonderfully well and it's not it's something like this doesn't happen overnight I think this is how they have been preparing, this is how they have been going about things and this is how they have been saying that, you know, to win something so big, we have to make some sacrifices and we have to enjoy each other's success and it's so evident. And I, I love his press conferences, he's, he's phenomenal. The other day, somebody asked him about his journey, he said, it's not about my journey, it's about India's journey to win the World Cup mm -hmm. and that makes him uh, even more special. Ramji, you have been a part of the Indian dressing room, you were there when uh, in 2011 India eventually went on to win the World Cup. But since then, the number of Indian support staff have gone up. How is easy or difficult is it these days to, you know, strike those one-on-one -on -one friendships and really be there as one unit? Because there are just so many people in the ringside of uh, the performers. Hello? Yes, could you hear me? Is it me, Rika? Yes, yes, Ramji. I'm not able to hear you properly. Yeah. I so the question is because t ah. in 2011 you are you were a part of the Indian cricket team when India eventually went on to win the World Cup. Since then, the number of support staff has has really gone up. Is it easy these days to strike those one-on-one -on -one friendships uh, within the team and be a cohesive unit? Because uh, there are so many people right now on the ring side of the performers. <laughs> okay, from my uh, point of view, more the merrier. I think there are enough uh, equal number of support staff to the players now. I think they are taking care of them well. And uh, it's a professional uh, unit now. I think uh, that will add on a lot of, uh, what do you call, camaraderie and bringing different mindset and different ideas. And uh, I think it's, it's a good thing to have uh, a good... You know, so many people are there to support you in the hour of crisis if you need. You have somebody, so many people to talk to and open up. I think it's a good thing uh, to have a good number of support staff. Those who are intelligent enough to uh, see what the players are required. And a support staff has to be like a sponge. You know, you have to absorb what the players and not to show things outside. It's a duty of the support staff to be always there for the players. That's why we are called support staff. Mm -hmm. So... Oh, we have to be like a sponge absorbing their pressure so that they have a free mind to go and express themselves in the middle of the pitch. You know, mm -hmm. uh, I, I think our team is doing very well. Keeping my fingers crossed today and tomorrow, I'll end up the day I'll look like one leper patient. <laughs> so I'm sure we'll crack it this time. Uh, well, uh, Vijay also has been talking about how the Indian team this time around has been has given a picture of not just a cohesive unit, a happy unit and they are, you know, opening up to fans in a way that if you see them travelling in the bus, the curtains are not drawn and that also reveals that uh, the stress is less, right Vijay? Not only that, uh, Rika, look at this. I mean, like, you know, you know that uh, there's only number of seats available at the stadium. This is another very good gesture. Not a single curtain on, Rika, and normally you don't see that. And they've been mm -hmm. sitting in thus because they said the New Zealand left early and there's a protocol. Sometimes you go together, sometimes a certain team say that they want to go early. Everybody can have a look at them. And, you know, this is, especially this is for the people who will miss out. And, you know, this stadium, you've been there so many times, this, mm. this hotel to the stadium is not, not a, a long drive, but mm. still, there will be people, there will be sea of people around, right there from here till the stadium. And this is a very, very good gesture by the, uh, by the uh, you know, support staff or by the team or whoever has decided that at least let them have a look at that. Vijay, I'm actually missing standing out there because 10 years ago to yeah. this date, I was actually standing outside the Vankhede Stadium, outside the Vinu Mankad Gate, reporting on Sachin Tendulkar. Oh, I thought you were talking about that particular <laughs> final as well. Have you booked your ticket for Ahmedabad or not? 
Well, I have my accreditation. Lovely, <laughs> lovely. We need every help that we can get. <laughs> yes, absolutely. And and the grounds will be packed to the rafters. Uh, in fact, uh, Vankhede Stadium, we, we are hearing that they're laying out the red carpet for the fans, but there won't be any seats. Ritender, coming to you and just talking about this game, um, the Kiwis have consistently been calling themselves underdogs. Would you say that they are trying to play mind games with us by calling themselves underdogs? <laughs> Arika, when you reach semi-final of the World Cup, you can never be underdog. And New Zealand has played good cricket, we all know. They have been here and there, if you talk about uh, their run to the semi-finals. Uh, but talking about India, uh, they have been top class, uh, top-notch performances, uh, winning comprehensively. So at this moment, you can say that India might have their nose ahead uh, but semi-final is a different ball game. We have Vijay here, Ramji here, uh, who have been into cricket since years. When semi-final arrives, you know the pressure comes along, and that is where you've got to be different. Uh, and for India, they got to just play the way they have been playing. Uh, they have to be in their top-notch form. Virat Kohli has to fire. But uh, if uh, we take uh, New Zealand as underdog, I think that will be complacency. And India knows that. They will leave no stone unturned to win this all-important semi-finals. Because at this point, if you have win all the league matches, good. But semi-final is one-day game, one-session game, one bad session. We have seen in the last World Cup how India uh, has, to opt, uh, has to bow out. Uh, and that hurt everybody. We still have that scare. Uh, mm -hmm. So I'm sure today India will uh, just be in their top-notch form. And they will uh, definitely not take New Zealand lightly by any chance. Right. The other factor in uh, uh, at the Wankhede Stadium, and we have been talking about this, is the wind factor, which is uh, in the uh, in the power play of the second innings, the first mm. power play. Vijay, let me come to you and ask you: If India wins the toss, sure shot, they are batting to avoid that. Uh, you know, uh, uh, batting in that power play. Rika, if you look at that Indian side, it's a complete side. I mean, like, you cannot just say that we're either we are bowling heavy or batting heavy. Our bowling is done really well. I think it all comes down to what sort of a surface we are playing on. And there on your screen yeah. is what happened when, you know, Sri Lanka faced India, England. It's, basic, it's, basically, it's basically the new ball. You just mentioned yeah. and narrow it down to the power play because at power play you have that new ball. Mm. And, and we have what it takes to bowl in that uh, uh, in that phase as well. But yeah, definitely the proximity. The stadium is very close to sea and that sea mm. breeze comes in and that helps uh, get additional help as far as the bowlers are concerned. They get that, uh, especially two new balls. I mean, you have uh, new balls from both ends. That also helps. So all those things are there and I think Indian team will be considering that as well. But I'm a I'm little curious to see that what sort of a surface we are playing on. Mm. But as far as the toss is concerned, good teams or let's say the best teams take the toss completely out of the picture. Mm. And that's what Indian team will be thinking. On the other end, uh, Rika, if you ask me, New Zealand, if, if you know what they will be thinking, I think they'll be thinking to bat first. That's, that's their best chance. They're playing with... Uh, uh, four frontline bowlers and unfortunately their bowlers are not in that sort of a, uh, a, a, a purple patch. They're not hitting that sort of a purple patch at the moment. Trent Bolt, who, who swings anywhere in the world, is is looking a bit off Trent, colour. Trent Bolt will be playing on his home ground. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's played for so many franchises here, uh, uh, Rika, that, you know, most of the grounds you can say that. He's been uh, playing for Rajasthan, played for Mumbai, yeah. you're absolutely right, played for Delhi Capital as well. So, he's been um, almost everywhere. But, but, that additional help uh, for a bowler to his uh, his standard can definitely uh, you know make the things a uh, little difficult for uh, Indian top order, and that's what uh, New Zealand will be thinking. That uh, this Indian top order looks uh, so strong. If they want to make some sort of a pressure on Indian this side, uh, I think they'll be thinking of uh, if they win the toss, uh, they would like to bat first and put runs on the board, and then try and use the conditions. And Ritinda, what kind of runs do you expect uh, on this deck? Of course, uh, 318 or 19 have been an average score on this deck during the World Cup. But uh, given that this is a pressure game, given that this is a semi-final, uh, what kind of run do you expect? 
look, Rika, if India is batting, I would expect at least 350. And if New Zealand is batting, uh, I would expect 150. Uh, <laughs> so I think uh, that's the way it has to be. Uh, but as Vijay has <laughs> rightly pointed out, uh, look, uh, New Zealand, they have their best chance if they bat first. Uh, and if they can put runs on the board, they have the arsenal to uh, defend their target. Uh, but playing India in this hot right form will not be easy. New Zealand has to be out of their skin to play this game. They know that uh, that if India falters, they have a chance. But that is if India falters. If we play to our potential, the way Rohit Sharma, Virat Kohli, Shreya Sayers, uh, uh, Surya Kumar Yadav, they have been in top-notch form. The way our bowling has been clicking. There has not been a single uh, player in our lineup whom we can say that who's struggling. Uh, we thought Shreya Sayer or Shubman Gill was struggling in the initial part of the tournament. Uh, Mohammad Siraj was looking a bit cold when the tournament started. But now, I think uh, that they are in a crazy form. So, in that respect, we should win. But cricket, game of uncertainties, uh, anything can happen. Uh, and I'm sure that Rohit Sharma will uh, have that uh, World Cup game in the last World Cup in his mind. So, today, uh, they have to uh, come up blazing all cylinders. And I'm sure all goes well. God willingly, we are in the finals. Uh, Today evening. Yes, Vijay, you want no, to. No, Ricky, Ricky, before that, Ricky was saying that, you know, uh, anything can happen. And then in the end, he said, God willingly will win. So that was my question. Don't sit on the fence. Pick up your winner. <laughs> and look, Vijay, uh, look, Vijay, we have played, played such a good cricket now. I haven't seen any team in the World Cup beating teams so comprehensively. It has been just India playing in the park in the World Cup. So that is where I'm. I'm I'm just a bit scared. Kake, uh, pick your winner. Good situations. Yeah, Vijay. Kake, pick your winner. Uh, India. All the way India. Uh, but Virat Kohli has to get runs. India. India. No, not... Well, <laughs> no, yes, Ranji, you, you had to say something. Please, The entire add. team is doing so well. You know, I'm sure we'll crack it this time. Uh, you know, I'm very positive about it. But, Leave the logic out of it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, we want India to win. Lift the trophy this time. After nearly 12 years, uh, we have the wherewithal to do it. I think but Ramji, would you say, powers, Ramji, would you also say that the team that goes on to win will see a superhuman performer like Glenn Maxwell? Possible. Anything is possible in this. Uh, Virat, uh, Virat and Rohit keeps going. You know, sky is the limit for us. And the bowlers are doing extremely well. <laughs> all the batters, like uh, everything they said, all are in good form, good nick, good space, mind space. That's what you need in any professional sport. Be it cricket or uh, NBA or NFL or racing or anything. Hmm. Yeah, they have to be in a good space. I think mm -hmm. these guys are in a good space. Entire team is in good space. That's a uh, appetite, uh, I mean, which is required. And that is a concoction for success. Okay, let me quickly take uh, the, your predictions. Uh, I'll start with Ramji. How much win percentage do you give to India and how much to New Zealand? For me as an Indian, 100%. <laughs> okay. That's being very bold and very brave. I am very bold, 100%. No compromise. <laughs> it, there may be ifs and buts, uncertainties, logic, etc. etc. But for me, 100% India. Ramji's boldness is evident. India. Yes, absolutely. Ritender. Uh, Rika, you? Ramji is there. Ramji has made us do so much of setups in our days. I can still feel my, you know, <laughs> looking at him, my stomach being cramped. <laughs> but I hope that today the stomach of New Zealanders will be feeling that crampness because India is in such a good form. So, talking about cricket, 70 30 to India. Okay, Vijay? 65 35. Okay, so we will uh, wait and see. Uh, who um, is able to um, get that get the better of the other because it is a crunch game, it's a pressure game and both the teams start at nil-nil. Thank you very much Vijay, Ritender and Ramji Thank for you. joining me on the Thank broadcast. So well, my Thank colleague you. Ronak has been doing rounds of the Vankhede Stadium and outside the stadium, he has been encountering a sea of blue. Here are some fans he caught up with. भारत और न्यूजीलैंड के बीच आज मुंबई के वानखेड़े स्टेडियम में जो सेमीफाइनल मुकाबला खेला जा रहा है उसमें मुख्य तौर पर विदेश से भी कुछ लोग टीम इंडिया का सपोर्ट करने के लिए पहुंचे हुए हमारे साथ सर व्हाट इज योर नेम एंड यू आर सपोर्टिंग इंडिया वेयर आर यू फ्रॉम वी आर फ्रॉम ब्रिस्टल इन द यूके इंग्लैंड सो व्हाई आर यू सपोर्टिंग टीम इंडिया बिकॉज़ वेल इंग्लैंड गॉन गॉन होम इंडिया इज आवर सेकंड टीम 
Um, and we're looking to see a good game. So, uh, what, what is your expectation? Uh, do you want Virat to play today? Good inning. Uh, well, hopefully, and I'd like to see uh, Rohit play a good innings as well. So, Rohit yeah. yeah, yeah. Rohit is the best. Best captain. And uh, what about uh, this spinning uh, team? Oh, spinning Jadeja, attack? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Jadeja, both like me. I both left arm. Okay. So did Jadeja. So, but Jadeja is my favourite. Uh, do you think uh, Team India will win the World yes. Cup? Yes. So they have the best all round side. I think they've got the best all round team. आप यहाँ देख सकते हैं कि जो न केवल भारतीय फैंस बल्कि जो विदेश से यहाँ पर पहुँचे हुए हैं वो भी सपोर्ट करते हुए दिख रहे हैं आपका व्हाट इज़ द नेम नॉयो व्हाट यू लुकिंग फॉर व्हाट इज़ द एक्सपेक्टेशन आई एम लुकिंग फॉर इंडिया टू विन स्टे सो वी कैन सेलिब्रेट वेल लेटर आई एम लुकिंग फॉर टिकट एस वेल टिकट ओह आप यहाँ देख सकते हैं कि क्योंकि टिकट को लेकर बहुत मारा मारी देखने को मिल रही है कई जो विदेशी मेहमान यहाँ पर पहुंचे हुए हैं उनको भी यहाँ पर टिकट जो है वो नहीं मिल पाई है पर मुख्य तौर पर आपको बता दें कि काफी उत्साह जो है मुंबई में आज देखने को मिल रहा है और सभी ये उम्मीद लगाए बैठे की बहुत हाई वोल्टेज मैच जो है यहाँ पर आज होने की उम्मीद है